Good morning. I am Pastor John of Brookfield Congregational Church. And this is Monday morning in Vacation Bible School week. God cares for us. Welcome to Vacation Bible School in this year, 2020. This year we'll have many of the things you are familiar with from other Vacation Bible School times. A message about God and the Bible, music, craft projects, a service activity to help somebody else. These you know about. One big difference, we cannot be together at the church. We won't see each other. We don't see God either, not the way we are used to seeing. What we see are evidences God has placed all around, flowers in the field, water in the lake, parents and grandparents who make sure we have food, people who speak kindly to us, friends who call us. Every evidence tells us one message. In God's world, we are not alone. We are surrounded by sights of God. The Lord Jesus once said, God's blessing is with those who do not see, but believe. Believing we can all do, even when we are apart. Monday is believing day. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we believe that you are with us, that you care for us, and that together, even when we are apart, we can care for you, care for each other, your world, and all those we know and love. In Jesus' name, amen. Wednesday. Welcome again to Vacation Bible School in this remote fashion. Wednesday, God answers prayer. A woman who did many things to help very poor people in a faraway land was interviewed by a journalist. The journalist said, Mother Teresa, I understand you spend hours every day praying to God. What do you think of to say all that time? Mother Teresa replied, I don't say anything. I listen. What then does God say? God doesn't say much either, Mother Teresa said. God listens. We say God answers prayer, and what we mean by that is God listens to us, God hears us, God is right there thinking with us, thinking about us. We aren't thinking, well, God, I want this. I need that. Won't you make this happen for me? Prayer is time with God, not begging something from God. Let us pray. God is up. It is our privilege and our opportunity just to be with you, to thank you and praise you, to honor your presence and your purposes in our world and in our lives. This day, when we think about your answer to prayer, we will concentrate on you are with us. Love us, care for us, and want us to be present and loving you too. Amen. Friday of Vacation Bible School this year, 2020, Jesus teaches faith. We have arrived. Friday, the last day of this year's Bible School. On the last day, I have a question for you. What did you do this week as an act of kindness for someone else? Did you give a hug? Wash or dry the dishes after a snack? Leave a happy note for mom or dad? Pick up litter? I could not see you do any of those things, 
but I have to believe you did one of them or maybe other ones like them. Some people may think I'm foolish to believe that. I don't. You know why? Because I know you. You have been to Vacation Bible School. You are a kind person. You think about others. Knowing that, knowing you, knowing those things about you gives me faith to believe you are doing something even when I don't see it. Let us pray. Jesus, you honored those who believed in you, though they would not see you, never would see you. You recognized <coughs> that they would, <coughs> oh, excuse me, Brian, can we do it again? <laughs> Friday of Vacation Bible School this year, 2020, Jesus teaches faith. We have arrived. Friday, the last day of this year's Vacation Bible School. And on this last day, I have a question for you. What did you do this week as an act of kindness for someone else? Did you give a hug? Wash or dry the dishes after a snack. Leave a happy note for mom or dad. Pick up around your room. I could not see you do any of those things, but I believe you did them or something very much like them. Some people may think I'm foolish to believe that. I don't. You know why? Because I know you. Because you have been to Vacation Bible School, I know you are a kind person and you think about others. Knowing that, knowing you, gives me faith to believe you are doing something even when I don't see it. Let us pray. Jesus, you honored people who believed even when they didn't see, when they didn't see you, when they didn't see God, when they didn't see the results of the things that they did, whether another person was helped, felt good, felt, felt loved and cared about. We did those things trusting that you would take them and bless that person, knowing that going forward, we will continue throughout this summer to do things even when they can't be seen, knowing that they are doing good. Bless them and us and all who have been a part of our Vacation Bible School this year. Amen.